Yeah, don't don't press now. Oh, yeah. yeah, the broadcast is oh, live, live now. Oh, live, 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's live. How do you see the comments? Page page, I have to say, Bhara Dilip. Yes, yes, I am on the page only, so we can see from here the comments. No, no, it's going live. It's going live. It's going live. Yes, it's going live. Yes, I can see that. A banner, he banwa, Dilip. Yeah, no, banner meant. मैंने जो बोला था मैंने जो बोला था वहां पे बैनर को वो तो हम लिखे लिखे थे हम तो हां फिर से जाना पड़ हां फिर से जाना पड़ेगा वहां पे राइट कॉर्नर पे वन कमेंट हैज कम वन कमेंट हैज कम लाइव इज स्विच ऑन लाइव इट्स लाइव यस यस आप तो राइट में जाना पड़ेगा हां यस बैनर इज देयर हां हां वहां पे लिख दीजिए लसित जी लसित भैया आ रहा है ना भाई हां आ रहा है यस 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 भरत सर आ रहे हैं ना या या आई कैन हियर या इट्स लाइव नाउ यस हां हां समबडी हैज आल्सो कमेंटेड यस यस आई थिंक इट्स लाइव नाउ या या वी कैन सी टीचर्स ओनली ऑल समबडी हैज कमेंटेड हां हां यस shall we wait for go go minutes yeah. because we have said that it is 6 pm shall we wait for 5 minutes and then we start yes yes we will wait yeah, then only we okay fine ah we can wait yeah acha hua humne schedule nahi kiya hua wo page pe warna page pe stream yard pe schedule karne se block ho jata abhi ha acha right stream yard pe schedule nahi kiya tha isliye acha hua साथ आ गया कोई हां दिलीप के मैंने एवरीथिंग इज फाइन दे से यस देयर आर एट पीपल हु आर वाचिंग दिलीप जी बैनर लिख लिया ना Yes, yes. Mm -mm. Scroll across bottom is sticker, है ना? हाँ 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 हाँ. Okay. Now it's coming. Is it coming now? मैं तो दे नहीं देख पा रहा, but. Okay, one second. I'm refreshing the page. One second, I'm refreshing to my Facebook page. हाँ ओके आई एम वेटिंग Okay. Yeah, banner is not coming. Why? Oh, it's it's there. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Hmm. okay. Yeah, banner is not coming. Why? Is. Ah, did it have problem? No. Okay, we are. And delete. Let's check. Hey, this uh, uh, Nihar is not here.
Lachit Bia, shall we start? It's around 6 o'clock. Yes. Uh, where is Bharat? Ha, Nihar is not here. Where is Nihar? I think he left. All he wants. I will start exactly at six. I think two more minutes we can wait. Yeah. Good evening, Mayanka Bhuva, sir. <coughs> Yes. Yeah, Nihar has come back. So we start, Lucid here? Yeah, I think Bharat, shall we go? No, I think we can go, yeah. yeah. We all fight, we all set. Good evening, everybody. So, today's discussion is a discussion that is going to be with the ICC alumni. So, today we are with Dr. Lachit Sakya. Bharat Ji will be with us here. Nihar Ji is here. And I am also with you all. So, if you have any questions, you can put it in the comment section. You can pick up the comment section and pick up the questions. We will discuss it. तो वैसे ये जो आज का हमारा डिस्कशन होने वाला है वो होने वाला है कि जैसे अभी जो पैंडमिक सिचुएशन हमारी चल रही है कोविड के कारण तो उसमें कुछ बच्चे स्ट्रेस में हैं अपनी पढ़ाई को लेकर और जो नहीं भी हैं जो अपनी पढ़ाई अच्छे से कर रहे हैं तो वो किस तरह से अपनी पढ़ाई को आगे कंटिन्यू रखें अपनी लाइफ में एक अच्छा अचीवमेंट पाने के लिए ठीक है अगर वो अपनी लाइफ में एक अच्छा गोल अचीव करना चाहते हैं अपनी लाइफ में साइंटिफिक फील्ड में आगे जाना चाहते हैं उनको लाइफ में आगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बनना है साइंटिस्ट बनना है या अच्छी जगह से कहीं से पीएचडी करनी है तो वो कैसे अपनी चीजों पे फोकस करें उस सब के लिए जो है आज का हमारा ये टॉक रहेगा और उससे रिलेटेड या कोई आप अगर ट्वेल्थ में भी हो या ग्रेजुएशन में हो मास्टर्स में हो मास्टर्स पास की हुई है उसमें भी अगर आपका कोई कोई भी आपका क्वेश्चन है जो आपके दिमाग में कैसे भी क्लिक करते हैं तो आप कमेंट सेक्शन में लिख सकते हो आपका जो क्वेरी होगी लचित भैया है भरत भैया है वो क्लेरिफाई करने की कोशिश करेंगे यहाँ पे ठीक है तो सबसे पहले मैं इंट्रोड्यूस कराना चाहूंगा लचित भैया को तो लचित भैया जो है वो यहाँ से पीएचडी है आईसी बेंगलोर से उसके बाद उन्होंने डिब्रूगर कॉलेज में जो है अपना जॉब लिया और अभी वो वहां पर पढ़ा रहे हैं ठीक है हमारे साथ यहाँ पर निहार है निहार इस तरह के जो इवेंट्स होते हैं उनको और ऑर्गेनाइज करते रहते हैं तो आज में आज के इवेंट में सबसे बड़ा हाथ निहार जी का है तो मैं निहार जी का यहाँ पे बहुत बहुत स्वागत करना चाहता हूँ हमारे चैनल में और लचित भैया का भी यहाँ पे बहुत बहुत स्वागत है भरत भैया का भी और निहार जी आपको भरत भैया को निहार जी प्लीज भरत भैया को आप इंट्रोड्यूस कीजिए हमारे व्यूवर्स के साथ हाँ हाँ जरूर हेलो एवरी वन वी है भरत एंगलिंग सर सर करेंटली He is in Cotton University as an assistant professor in molecular biology and biotechnology. Apart from his uh, educational journey, uh, he is also an ACS officer. Um, he was selected for ACS after joining in the uh, university. So he is very much close to uh, educational line. So. So, man, so we love he, we love, we love him uh, as a teacher. Students all are uh, loving him as a, being a teacher. Uh, so he is currently in a professor role uh, at uh, in uh, Cotton University. So myself, myself Niharanjan, here, and thank you, Dilip ji, apni itna acha introduction dene ke liye. अच्छा लसित भैया मैं आज का सेशन हमारा स्टार्ट करना चाहूंगा क्योंकि 
मैं सबसे पहले ये पूछना चाहूंगा जैसे हमारे जो व्यूवर्स के जो क्वेश्चन हैं वो कमेंट सेक्शन में डाल सकते हैं जैसे भी उनका कोई क्वेश्चन आएगा लेकिन अभी मैं हमारा जो सेशन है वो इस क्वेश्चन के साथ स्टार्ट करना चाहूंगा कि अभी जो पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन चल रही है हमारे इंडिया के अंदर तो मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि जैसे जो स्टूडेंट है उनको जो जो टेंथ के स्टूडेंट हैं उनको भी प्रमोट कर दिया गया है ट्वेल्थ के स्टूडेंट हैं उनको भी प्रमोट कर दिया गया है लगभग सभी स्टेट्स में ठीक है लेकिन जब पूरी साल उनकी पढ़ाई नहीं हुई है उनको सब्जेक्ट की नॉलेज नहीं है ठीक है और जो मैं ऐसा नहीं कर रहा हूँ कि सभी स्टूडेंट ऐसे हैं कुछ स्टूडेंट जो अपना रेगुलरली पढ़े भी होंगे ठीक है सिंसियर होंगे अपनी पढ़ाई को लेकर तो चूंकि आप लोगों ने इतने अच्छे अच्छे अचीवमेंट आपने अचीव किया अपनी लाइफ में आपने आज से पीएचडी कंप्लीट किया आई एस एस जो कि इंडिया का नंबर वन साइंस का इंस्टीट्यूट है और आपने मतलब अब आप असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर हो भरत भैया ने भी पी सी एस ए क्लियर किया है अभी वो असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर हैं कॉटन यूनिवर्सिटी के अंदर तो मेरा क्वेश्चन आपसे ये है कि अभी आप अपने स्टूडेंट से क्या कहना चाहोगे कि वो इस पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन में कैसे आगे बढ़े कैसे अपनी पढ़ाई के लिए कंसनट्रेट कर सके कैसे वो अपनी लाइफ में अगर उनको आगे जाके अच्छे गोल अचीव करने हैं तो कैसे अपनी पढ़ाई पर कंसंट्रेट करें थैंक यू दिलीप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स अ वेरी नाइस थिंग टू टू हैव दिस सेशन लाइक दिस टू गो ऑनलाइन टू एंड आई फील इट्स नाउ इट्स बिकमिंग अ न्यू नॉर्मल फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस टू बी ऑनलाइन एंड देन टू परफॉर्म मेनी थिंग्स ऑनलाइन सो that's why i thank all of you for coming together <clears throat> uh yeah the question that you have asked is probably is the question of uh probably anyone so then before going to the problem i would like to say that i know this pandemic has hit us tremendous it, it has it, it's really hard time for all of us now it's coming it's 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 a fact of now survival like can we survive through this pandemic first we suppose those who are um really good at studies i know that they have been promoted right and then they are facing okay my, what will be my future right so if typically now if now if you think if you are if you are student of 10th class okay now you are at least for the cbse part as as for the information goes they have been promoted to class 11 But in, if for those students who have who have the plan to change their college or change their institute, then how do they proceed, right? Because they don't have their certificate with their hand to go. I, I don't know how they the entire scenario uh, scenario will be arranged. But now the 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 question comes: the problems are many, right? So then, how do we sort of tackle ourselves to this problem? So, irrespective of whatever so things are not controlled now, the entire pandemic is in not in our control. So, if God knows when this thing will become normal for all of us. So, the first thing I would think that first of all, uh, your uh, the attitude towards the entire education system and 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 the attitude towards your own study, you have to somehow change. Like somehow you have to feel that see this is the problem. Now you can. like com- complain about the problem but you need to somehow switch your mind to change can we can we look for solutions now like can we suppose i am at home now i am i i have been promoted from this class to that class now there are many like opportunities to learn many things like now everything is available more or less in education <laughs> sector lot of classes are happening online so you can learn those things just being at home you can learn which was not there previously okay a lot of study materials are available so what is in that way you can tune your studies okay. and apart from that somehow you have to keep telling your mind see it things will become normal like mentally you have to somehow keep on very satisfactory like you know you have to, you have to understand yourself how your mind works and then slowly you have to proceed before that because otherwise you will if you keep creeping about the problem you will always think about the problem you never look about the solution so i think first of all keep yourself pretty happy studies you can take forward slowly one by one mm-hmm. but you have to be on the road on the focusing mode like you have to focus somehow related to the studies that's what i feel i think bharat will say some more things on that yes bharat 
Yeah, uh, Dilip, thank you so much for giving me this platform. It's uh, really wonderful to uh, talk to uh, to the different students. Uh, Latid has already pointed out most of the points. Actually, it's very important that you know uh, you should uh, keep uh, stay positive because I know it has been migrated for the ten students uh, in many states, like uh, you know uh, from ten to directly to twelve. Of course, uh, the thing is that uh, they since because they are not writing and uh, you know without uh, grading them, they are being promoted to the uh, twelve uh, to the eleven. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, it's very difficult because the uh, situation is such that you know we don't have any other options. Okay, but having said that, it doesn't mean that you know uh, just because that they have uh, you know uh, just because that they have uh, promoted it, you know they should be if they have any doubt for regarding any topics, whatever they have uh, learned in ten, they can you know uh, they can you know they can go through for different materials okay so there are many uh as let it point you know rightly pointed out that there are many ways you can now get the different study materials okay so uh now uh of course they should uh, focus on their 12 11 and 12 whatever their academics they're going to study because it's very important whatever the lacuna they had uh because they they, they, they might not be knowing that what happened to them in intent because they are not being uh you know in a kind of screened out right Probably, uh, you know, so they should, uh, they should, you know, li become a little bit serious about uh, their studies in 10th and 12th, in, in 11th and 12th. And uh, yeah, so in these uh, kind of situations, of course, they should stay positive. Bharat Bhi, there is a question from Rajasthan. So the question is that if in this pandemic situation, if you have two options, if you have a job, you have a good job, and you have a PhD, you have a PhD, you have a PhD. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I have, I, I have got that question. I think, uh, see, it depends on person to person. Like, you know, drop for a job preparations, drop for a job. Oh, he's asking for drop for a job preparations and join a PhD. Thanks in advance. Okay. So, see, uh, it depends on the person's interest. If he's really interested in PhD, of course, you know, if he's, uh, you know, his, his desire to do PhD, you know, and if he's uh, very much uh, confident that he can, you know, do his PhD well, and uh, and if it is uh, you know coinciding with uh, with, with his uh, uh, interest, so that definitely you know he can drop and he can start preparing. But you know it should not be in a, a again dilemma. You know after let's say you know because sometimes what happens, uh, uh, some financial matter is also very important. So uh, everything he can uh, look into it financially. Thorasa is stable. Okay, you know he can think of it whether uh, at the right time to join the PhD. Okay. And uh, that's what I, I think. I think Lachit can draw yeah, some so more, throw some more lights. Yeah. Be, so his question is, can you please suggest me that which one is better option in this pandemic? So I think, mm -hmm. um, see, the first of all, you need to understand because of the pandemic, what problem you are facing. So right now, it's not clear to us whether, see, you should not take pandemic as an excuse to go for the either for a job preparation or a PhD. You need to understand what, see, before, some, in case you need to examine yourself whether, let's say there was no pandemic, would you have gone for job preparation or would you go for a PhD? So if, if, if that gives you some answer, probably you are in the right path. Yeah, then exactly. Then you create the problem, right? Then you have the pandemic now. So it's like, Either way, see, and joining PhD itself is, again, you have to plan, okay? And what kind of job you are, see, if, if you're, you need to understand your inclination. Which way you are inclined more? Are you inclined to, towards a PhD or you are you inclined towards, or there are other factors like, you know, you need to have a financial stability, you need to have some other issues, some other, so, so you need to understand yourself. If you, if we have this information, probably, let's say, let's say you are like, you have financial stability. So you want to prepare for a PhD or you want to join a PhD, right? So if you are if you are really interested in academics, then it's good for you. You can go ahead. But let's say you are in a like you are inclined towards the job and all the problems that you are facing, and because the pandemic sort of see, I know like many people's life will change change because of this pandemic. Way because see, the financial factor has come as a huge blow for entire humanity now almost entire humanity so suppose if job factor gives you better stability in your life see after all you need to 
you need to understand yourself which will give give you more satisfaction and more balance in your life so my answer would be that you first of all you need to like you know you need to analyze yourself if, if just think that if you're let's say if there was no pandemic which one you would have chosen then you put pandemic into your scenario then which one does is that the pandemic only factor which is like changing your option to go for a job or a phd then you can i think you will get an answer from her because uh, uh, um, suggesting directly to go for a job preparation that itself i don't think so that's a right away is the correct thing to do you need to analyze your situation because you're the best person to judge because what is happening in and around you that uh, uh, ravi kumar will know for much and in case if you have some more points you can uh, comment us i will uh, try to answer in fact what will also try to answer yes so yeah, another thing i just uh, want to point it out here dilip and nihar and sharad there was a request from our community that in between we may have to switch to assamese because uh, another viewer no, let's had let's be here let's be here a question is coming from rajasthan actually huh? the person is asking that uh, when i join in the phd yeah. okay when i join in the phd at that time i thought that i will do my phd best acha okay. okay so but after that the pandemic situation came then again situation normalized then again situation came for pandemic situation in the india now covid is yeah coming now he is yeah. asking that but due to the pandemic my interest in the phd decreasing exponentially what should i do now <laughs> see that's the i mean uh, so is it, yeah i it's think a, it's a very personal decision because uh, i am just interrupting that's <laughs> it uh, yeah it's very no, personal the, the sometimes fact, uh, so my point things, be, yeah. yes bharat yeah Go ahead. You were saying something. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so my thing is, just because pandemic hit, your interest towards pandemic decrease. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's... Your interest towards the PhD <laughs> like exponentially. I mean, mm -hmm. did it hit you directly? In which way it hit you? Okay, if you are you cannot able to go to the lab and do the work, that I understand. But if you are, if you just join PhD, you are the first year of uh, PhD. Probably you are not even. <laughs> tasting a single drop of the entire phd portion oh, oh, that i would say you need to yeah. be resilient in that you need to have the perseverance see hum logo ko ye manna hai ki agar if you start doing some project anything in life if you stumble upon a first problem you say are shayad maine galat raste pe aa gaya see nobody can become a good driver by driving the in one go right plane. yeah in one way or a very plain surface right he i know he 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 knows the skill but he doesn't have the skill to cross the speed breaker right? yes or any yeah uh, that so that's why i think this is a very uh, i would understand if if, if he was uh, having like this problem okay but i need to know more about and see somebody else could think that okay because of pandemic now i could at least join a phd the mindset my mindset may change right there are many students who are after msc they did not get a chance to join the phd program right at least he got the chance let's utilize that opportunity instead of thinking that because of pandemic okay i do understand maybe mm -hmm. somebody is having uh, the positive cases in their home or maybe some someone may lose near a dear ones then i understand those are things very psychological effect those i understand but apart from that that if directly pandemic is hitting that that question is pretty uh, personal i guess meaning after joining phd program and then now you are thinking about job then the decision the prior to that maybe you have to think about that maybe something was wrong at that point of time i i would say like that okay okay yeah. and uh, i have i yeah braji can you tell something about this your opinion for this question okay the same uh, okay the questions that we have we are taking right okay yeah i think uh, see uh, he was initially as uh, lachit was saying that okay he was interested in phd then uh, then he joined then because of the pandemic he is living 
probably uh, i don't know why he is thinking in that way i think uh, what's the problem it should be first of all i think it should find out why he is thinking in that way that okay you know because of the pandemic i should go for a job i don't know that reasons probably you know if we know that you know, you know that that help us to that help, help help us to find out something okay अच्छा अरे भैया मेरा एक क्वेश्चन है आज जैसे मान लीजिए कि जो ज्यादातर जो हमारे इंडिया में जो बच्चों का आजकल जो मेंटेलिटी जो सेट हो चुका है वो ये है कि वो आराम से एक बार अपनी ग्रेजुएशन वगैरह एडमिशन ले ले तो आराम से अपनी ग्रेजुएशन कंप्लीट करते हैं मास्टर्स में एडमिशन ले ले तो आराम से अपनी मास्टर्स कंप्लीट करते हैं और ग्रेजुएशन में कंप्लीट करने के बाद फिर वो सोचते हैं कि चलो अब जैम दे दिया जाए मास्टर्स में आईटी में एडमिशन लेने के लिए जब जब जैम क्रैक नहीं होता है तो एक साल की कोचिंग कर लेते हैं क्योंकि वो इस हिसाब से स्टडी स्टार्टिंग से करते ही नहीं है कि उनका जैम क्रैक हो क्योंकि अगर आप एक नेशनल लेवल के एग्जाम में बैठने जा रहे हो तो आपकी स्टडी बहुत अच्छी होनी चाहिए क्योंकि सेम टाइम पे जो है जब आप पढ़ रहे हो तो सेम टाइम पे दिल्ली में कोटा में अलग अलग जगह पे जयपुर में अलग अलग स्टेट में मतलब लोग बाग कोचिंग कर रहे होते हैं तो अगर आप उनको कंपीट करना चाहते हो अपने एग्जाम के अंदर तो आपको अच्छे से पढ़ना होगा तो आप उनको क्या बताना चाहोगे कि आपको कोचिंग करना क्या जरूरी होता है किसी भी एग्जाम को निकालने के लिए अगर कोई नेशनल लेवल का एग्जाम है क्योंकि आपने इतने सारे एग्जाम क्वालिफाई किए हुए हैं और अगर कोचिंग नहीं करना है तो वो स्टडी किस तरह से की जाए और इसमें आप थोड़ा सा मतलब सेपरेट कर देना की अगर कोई फर्स्ट ईयर से बंदा पढ़ना चाहता है तो वो कैसे पढ़े उसका माइंड कैसा हो और कोई बंदा थर्ड ईयर से अपनी प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट करना चाहता है तो वो कैसे करे क्योंकि दोनों के पास टाइम अलग अलग है दोनों की सिचुएशन अलग अलग है तो इसके बारे में आप थोड़ा बताइए या सी आई थिंक for any competitive exams of course the first and foremost thing is that you know you should uh, know the syllabus okay i'm just talk, i'm i'm just telling you you know what uh, the important is basically uh, then i'll come back to your the first year second year or the third year phases okay so uh, it's very important that you should know the syllabus okay the questions if uh, for any entrance examinations if they are giving any syllabus you know you should be very thorough about those syllabus okay so there are many students you know who uh, doesn't know about the syllabus okay so you know if you are not if you don't know if, you know you are going in a battle you don't know who are the enemies of yours then it becomes very difficult okay so you know it's very important that your uh, syllabus should be uh, you, are, you should be very thorough about the syllabus okay that's a very important point and uh, 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 the about uh, the coaching and all uh, i have not taken any coaching okay but uh, i think it's doable without coaching also because nowadays many things are available in the internet okay it's it's it becomes again very personal see you know some there are some students who which maybe you know who maybe who doesn't require uh, coaching he or she can you know uh, you know themselves can prepare uh, and they can you know crack it okay but i'm not saying that coaching is uh, not at all necessary okay it, it becomes again uh, person to person it might varies okay for some people you know they might need that guidance okay in that case they can follow the you know they can follow some good coaching institute okay but for some others you know if they feel that okay they can do themselves it's not required okay not necessary that you need to go through all kind of coaching institute and uh, coming to the point of yours first year second year third day uh, uh, basically uh, you know if somebody is in a first year of course uh, it it become very it become very important that you know what uh, mm. what the you know your faculties are teaching now uh, just because i have joined in cotton university five months back and uh, there are different students like you know there are some in fourth semester some in uh, second semester some are in in, in the sixth semester okay so of course i am trying my best okay basically uh, those who are in the sixth semester in the third year in case in case in that case uh, they have very less time in fact they have already given the exams okay but anyway you know if you have very less time that means you have to cover the entire topic so in that way uh, it becomes little bit difficult okay what i would suggest that the best way is that you know you can start from your second or third semester uh, in the first semester yes it you can start but you know it's a very long journey three years continuously you know grilling yourself also becomes little bit these things but you should be very uh, disciplined about 
uh, you should be disciplined about uh, what uh, the faculties are teaching keeping in mind that okay you have your syllabus about the entrance just imagine now i want to write for exam so you know the syllabus okay so you have the syllabus okay in first year whatever the syllabus are uh, teaching you they you know faculties are teaching you you can you know that they are going to be overlap okay so you can have a very thorough analysis about them and uh, for if somebody is in the uh, second semester or the third semester you know of course the time is going to be very less for them so accordingly it's very important that that you know the syllabus should be the main thing that 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 you know i, I want to summarize uh, they have to finish this uh, syllabus so it depends if you want to finish it in 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 the span of uh, one year or two years or whether you want to finish in the span of six months okay so uh, that should keep in mind that syllabus should be there you know you should be very thorough and one more thing is that the previous year's question papers they should be very thorough about the uh, previous years how the pattern is and how what kind of questions are being asked because if you take a uh, five six years back and now if you come compare uh, last year's the uh, very recent question papers the pattern is going to be same a pattern is going to be very dif different because the competition level is different okay so every year the competition is going very high so you know you have to be uh, very uh, you know adapt yourself adapt yourself that okay uh, uh, you know what kind of questions are being asked yeah so let's see bhaiya mai ek question hai jo rajasthan se aa raha hai question ye hai ki abhi लास्ट से लास्ट ईयर ये बच्चा ज्वाइन किया है ठीक है तो वो बोला कि जब मैं ज्वाइन किया था तो मैं फर्स्ट ईयर में था इंस्टीट्यूट ने बुलाया नहीं केवल कोर्स वर्क करना था घर से ही हुआ उसके बाद फिर से पैंडमिक सिचुएशन आ गई अभी लैब वगैरह सब कुछ बंद है ठीक है अब उसका कॉम्प्री आने वाला है अब उसका एक्सपेरिमेंटल पार्ट कुछ हुआ नहीं और दो साल जाने को कुछ भी अभी हुआ नहीं है पी का ठीक है सिर्फ फेलोशिप मिल रही है पी हो रही है तो अभी वो काफी टेंस है कि एक्सपेरिमेंट्स नहीं हो रहे हैं अगर अगला एक दो साल हो रहा है ऐसा ही हो गया तो कैसे पीएचडी पूरी होगी क्योंकि वो सी एस आई आर फेलोशिप से उसका फेलोशिप आ रहा है तो फेलोशिप तो एक टाइम के बाद बंद हो जानी है पांच साल के बाद तो इस टाइम पे वो कैसे मतलब सोचे क्योंकि एक अच्छे खासे इंस्टीट्यूट में एडमिशन लेने के बाद अगर आप कुछ भी नहीं कर पा रहे हो तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा है कि आप एक नॉर्मल इंस्टीट्यूट से पीएचडी कर रहे हो या आप अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट से पीएचडी कर रहे हो क्योंकि आज वो भी बंद है और एक अच्छा इंस्टीट्यूट बंद है तो वो कैसे मतलब खुद को समझाया अभी क्योंकि उसका कुछ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ही शुड कंटेंट हिमसेल्फ सेइंग दैट सी यू आर इन आईएसी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल योर फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ पीएसी ओके सो व्हाट लाइज अहेड नो गुड ओके ही शुड सैटिस्फाई हिमसेल्फ दैट ही गॉट इनटू इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक आईएसी एंड फर्स्ट ईयर so i would think what is going to happen it see now it's, it's not his fault that he's not able to do the experiment neither somebody institute fault that they are not able to give the facility to the kid it's entire situation is like that right so i okay. think you should not focus too much on the problem i always feel that see focusing too much see you should know the problem it's okay you should always try to know the problem but then you should bang your head too much like so much so that you should bang your head on the solution so that's at least something you can derive okay so yeah when compre will come you have to write the compre or whatever the attend the compre but it's okay see when time comes you will be able to do the experiment right so it's not that it will keep on going for ages right in fact see newton was the person who Wrote out all this uh, calculus and all during that time when and then that and the world was again facing the pandemic and I think World War Time. I exactly I don't remember which one. I mean it was a that kind of situation where everything was not normal. So I think he should take this opportunity to think uh, positive. It's not that his work is being uh, at halt. Every uh, everybody's uh, work is at halt. So um, yeah, so he should not take too much of uh, attention. Whatever Hello. You do, Project, yeah. Then you you can keep on studying. You can uh, keep going ahead. You should not think about the country. You are just now in the first team. Yes, I had something to say. Yeah. 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 Uh, one of my friend uh, have given a question uh, on how to prepare prelims and mains, specifically about this area. Yeah. From Assam. He's uh, he's he, from Assam. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mainly prelims. How to prepare okay. for prelims? Hmm hmm hmm. 
Okay, so one thing I just want to add here is that, okay, I have uh, qualified the uh, some state civil service this year. Uh, okay, see, uh, now, because he's going to write, can I, can I speak in SMS? I mean, yes, it, yes. Because yeah, the, the, you, yeah, the yeah, question yeah, is for him. Dilip, Dilip, can I, can I speak? He is asking yes, yes, that question you, actually. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, he's from Assam. No, it is key. Who basically? Dhara, my zite pass kori silo. More zite syllabus asil. That was different. Aro it is zite syllabus hoyse. E syllabus to all of different hoyse. Okay. But whatever you know, syllabus to that doesn't matter actually. Ultimately, content is the same. All of dukhan man paper extra hoyse. Okay. But basically, it is key. Hoy, tomorrow zikur NCERT book asa no. See, mm. it, it's it's mm. a it's a it's a very lengthy process. And bohut kita pohi bol laga hai. Kothi ke bohut zaman bo resources tha ke na bohut limited rakha to best hai mane. Aru majori kong ite books or karone, films or karone. Tethe hale zibur NCERT book asa na class six or para tumar uh, till class eleven holo ke. Hey book ke han mane must hai mane. Tumi thoroughly mane paha to khubey door kari hai bolu ma bhabu. Aru heke han to basic book hai kuchh. Maa mane he to best he to kora he kini pohar pisa eta 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 best eta set hui jaye. Since maa I was a uh, student from science background, so I, you know, he knowledge was more important than that. So you study, I got it, but he was very good. But later on, what happened? I heard that he studied very well. I mean, he studied very well. He studied very well. So I suggest that you study very well and complete your studies. And after that, you have to write a book extra. So you have to write a political science. So you have to write a constitution. You have to write a constitution. Lakshmi Kant. Lakshmi Kant is very good. माने इम्पोर्टेन्ट बुक एक खान है तार बाहर हिस्ट्री का ना स्पेक्ट्रम और जिकन बुक ऐसे एक खान कुबे इम्पोर्टेन्ट है कोटी के एक खान बुक बहुत थोरो हम लगी बो आरु एक खान बुक भाल रे पोही बो लगी बो ठीक है से इटे प्रीलिम्स और बस्तु पे वाला स्पेसिफिक है अकामन की है बस्तु पे करंट एफेयर्स तो डेफिन ठीक है सर ऐने जरी कुनो बाय जरी हिस्ट्री सिस्ट्री पहाड़ की होए बेसिकली हिस्ट्री बोलते हैं तो ना ऐता काइंड ऑफ सीक्वेंस और थके ना उटे बोल ऐता टाइमलाइन जानी ले बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेन्ट होए वो ठीक है हिस्ट्री बुक खान मौके के टेव साजेस ना करो ऐता नॉट ओनली स्टूडेंट ओके डायरेक्टली जाए क्योंकि क्या होले ना होएगे कारण आगुर आगुरी एकु बुझी ना पावोगे ठीक है तो बेस्ट वे इस डेट की बात है खोरू क्रेस कोर्स टाइप नो यूट्यूब वीडियो पे दुनिया के पुआज है ये क्रेस कोर्स टूट की कोई भी पढ़े दुनिया के बस साइलोग ये टा टाइमलाइन तो गोवे कंपाइलोग जे उठारो खो माने कि जितिया इ to me, man, uh, what is happening from uh, 1800 to 1900, you know, there are many events are going on because it's a history. Yes, sir. So you cannot remember mm -hmm. each and everything. So the best way is that he yeah. or she can, you know, he can, you know, just watch a crash course at a dunyake sale of a pare. Tar pisot, he or she can go back to those books, you know, those books which I have suggested, like Spectrum. Mm -hmm. Then everything is going to get open. Okay. That's the way of the reading about the history because. I found it very helpful. In my case, when I was preparing, I found it's very difficult to read the spectrum in fast go. The directly much like that only silo. But when I realized that, okay, that's not the way actually. You know, there are different mm. techniques. So the mm. more data you switch, or you lose the more. Dunia ke hena ke the crash course likha bhi sir dunia ke point out you can data. Okay, iman hi niti mani mano hi se. So accordingly, you can go back now to the main book. Okay, so he to hold he to. Baki aru geography geography is there. Geography ki hoy optional asa optional. Absolutely, it's up to him or her what he wants to take, he or she wants to take. Okay, but mm -hmm. prelims or current deco all of key hoy NCRT definitely you have to know are all of specific way yes. current data prelims are to the point could they too. So he or she has to be very specific. Our main sir basically he has to writing capacity. See, uh, it's all about writing. Agar to me that he likhi bonora, then to me zimane knowledge taka manu no hok. To me lagya humor vitro stand kora lora and was wali no hok. You are not going to pass their exam. So ultimately, to me, hey, main shot to me. Ultimately, zee likhi sa hai kine hai sab hoge. Because if you are not writing or you are not able to complete the papers, nobody is going to see who how much talent you have, right? So writing zee to hoy. Jodi kunwa jodi likha jodi khub speed hoy. Tete halay he or she can complete the papers. It becomes easy for them. Okay. Of course, al ulta pulta kiba kibi likhile na hobo. Content has to go there. Hey, the point hai kibo lagi ba. Gote ke moi bhabu zee jodi karbar writing skill or tuhi kase, they can improve that writing skill. One way, and uh, yes, uh, for the prelims, you need to focus on very specific points, two D points. Okay, so see, so it's 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 the strategy becomes very uh, diverse from person to persons. Uh, all my strategies may not be correct for uh, yes, you know, yeah. everybody, but mm -hmm. you know, for history, I think it, that should work. 
because it, it has worked in my case okay so are you a specific question i said then i'll be very uh, I'll, I'll be it will be easy for me to answer otherwise no it's a very huge topic we can go on talking about two three hours but it's not going to over <laughs> so if any specific points are there then think, it becomes very easy yeah. for me to yeah mm, i'll deliver to you shortly yeah mm -hmm. So there was a question. I think uh, Ravi Kumar had. Please mention your here uh, state and all these things. So just to uh, brief this thing. So I think uh, Dilip is from Rajasthan. Myself, Lachit, Bharat, and Nihar. We all are from Assam. Okay. Yeah. So that's what the language that we are speaking uh, is Assamese. Between, that is Assamese. So because the question was being I asked in Assamese. So also I understand know. some point of. Time. Uh -huh. <laughs> नहीं जाने वाली है वो सीधी सीधे सीधी रेखा में नहीं जाएगी तो जिन लोग जो लोग पीएचडी एच जर्नी में उतरने जा रहे हैं तो वो अपने माइंडसेट को किस तरह से रखें किस तरह से वो अपनी पीएचडी को ऐसे मतलब आगे बढ़ाएं कि वो उसको एंजॉय कर सके ठीक है वो उनके ऊपर एक बोझ ना बने ठीक है ऐसा ना लगे कि यार हम एक डिग्री कर रहे हैं ये करना जरूरी है क्योंकि ये ये कोई एक या दो साल की डिग्री नहीं है कि आपका आप आए ठीक है कुछ एग्जाम्स दिए वो हो जाएगी आप चले जाओगे अगर टाइम पे रिजल्ट्स नहीं निकल के आते हैं तो वो आपकी एक्सटेंड भी हो सकती है छह साल सात साल के लिए भी हो सकती है और मिनिमम अगर एक अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट में आप हो तो साढ़े चार से पांच साल आपको लगने वाले हैं तो मैं ये पूछना चाहूंगा कि उनको कौन सी ऐसी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं जिनके लिए पहले से प्रिपेयर होना चाहिए कि ये प्रॉब्लम तो आपको फेस करनी पड़ेंगी ही दूसरी चीज वो अपनी पी लाइफ को कैसे एंजॉयबल बना सके मतलब वो उनके ऊपर बोझ ना बन जाए वो उसको एंजॉय कर सके इसके लिए उन्हें क्या करना चाहिए Ha huh, so i think this is a very uh, one of the question that everybody has i guess anybody who wants to do phd how to maintain it so basically see i look at this question not only for the phd point of view but in life in general so you will always have problems in life right whether from the childhood till you die every time you have a problem every step of your life you have a problem You go out now. You if you don't wear mask, you'll be fine. Either either you otherwise you'll get lucky chance. Something it's it's like a situation is like that, right? Now, what can you do, right? So you have to sharpen your tools. See whatever tools you have that you need to sharpen. So let's say now if you want to do this, since the question is all about PhD, if you are looking for do to do PhD, see PhD is something that where you do research, right? So research is something that which is So you are likely to do somewhere which is yeah you know you are going to explore the unexplored thing. Okay, so you need to keep yourself first of all focused and very honest about yourself. Okay, this doesn't mean that all the time you will keep studying, keep working in the lab. No, I am not saying that. There will be ample time surrounding you. You can do your hobbies if you are good at playing, singing, dancing, whatever. Or if you are good at Some other stuff, let's say photography or cultural events. Like you know, you if you are good at acting, you can you can take up those options as well. But what you have to do, basically, you need to keep your focus on the main line. So okay, you have come to the institute to do a PhD. You have not come to do the extra thing. Okay, so keeping your main focus really healthy. Right, then other things will fall in place. Because if you are good at see, because I and Bharat were very fond of playing cricket. So invariably, you can in the evening mm -hmm. time you can find me and Bharat in ground. Okay. So the mindset wise, you need to keep yourself focused. See, I have come here to do PhD. I think so. Whatever I need to study papers, I need to do lab work. I need to whatever needs to be done in a lab. That I think Bharat just left. Ha! Uh, I think he will join. Right? So some network snag. I think. Okay, so basically you have to keep your mind so balanced and focused. Okay, then you can see PhD itself is like first of all you have to look for the problem that you want to work on. Okay, before that, even when you're applying, you have to look for the projects that are around with with whom you want to do the PhD and um, things like that. You have to need you need to be focused. Then you can take out a hobby. See, you should always enjoy the life. 
Yep. To, to keep the fun factor going in your life, I think Bharat is there. Yes. So to keep uh, the fun factor going, yeah. So to keep the fun factor yes. going in life, what we used to do, I just briefly see in IASC during PhD days, Saturday Sunday is off. So it's yes. like a, it's a week long plan to play two matches. If probably if we can, we can play some more matches. And in matches are also not just because go and have their fun. No, it's not like that. Very sincerely. We were so thorough, like okay, six thirty match starts and we will be there at six thirty. And then we plan. Bharat and in fact, the... yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's so fun there. See, you know, you, you will plan, okay, maybe this time we are playing against that team. Who all are there in that team? So planning goes on. Okay, that bowler, he might come. This one happened, that one will happen. Okay. And then we used to this, the best part is, you know, this part is a little funny, meaning many, uh, more often than not, we used to be in a striker and non-striker. I mean, either we go opening or if we go even down the line also, somehow we'll meet. So what used to happen, we used to speak in our local language, right? So other people don't understand. So we can shout and any strategy is there, we can shout and say. Nothing will understand. No, like, nobody will understand that. I still remember one incident, very funny incident. One, one of our friends is from... I think he played for Aerospace that time. Okay. So, Bharat, that time you like, see, you early morning, 6 30, you go and play. You're already in like sleepy mode, right? So, what do you do? Come and face a few balls, like knock and then go. Okay. So, uh, he had trouble in first two balls, like he was not able to score. Then he shouted from the, hey, what shall I do? In Assam, is like, hey, keep coding, man. Okay. <laughs> See, I am not some poacher to give him some tips. Simply, I went to him and then the, the sort of what you do is a batsman, right? I did. Don't worry. Just come up, like come two steps forward and hit wherever you can. That confident that I had gone from one side to something. I, it appeared as if like I said something to him. He also did the same thing. Next four ball, including all the extra, he scored 18 runs. Still, I remember so vividly. See, that incident, you know, it's not only that. I have learned many things from that incident. First of all, we, we can be friends and we can discuss many other problems in our life, right? And then we can probably find solutions. Okay. That time was fun. We played the game. We won. I think we scored 180 plus. Yes, we have to enjoy it. It was pretty easy. And it was fun. Like all the time we keep we keep playing. And sometimes we Bharat and you should be opposite team. Then we have to play our best, right? That's like an opportunity to Prove yeah. ourselves. See, I can be better than you. See, every, I'm not saying that every time uh, Bharat will be like uh, excelling me and that all I will be like better than him. Like, like whatever you cricket commentary, the commentators say, right? On a given day, you are better than that. Salute. That's all. Okay. And then next day again, you come prepared and play. So those things have kept us so fresh in our mind that whenever we used to go to lab, either you can fully focus. Okay. There are many things. In our life, so uh, so that helped actually quite a bit. In that way, we, I could at least maintain balanced life. In fact, I think Bharat will have many other things to say share. I have just got this incident. Like your mind, somehow you have to keep your mind really focused and you know very fresh to do something in the lab. Otherwise, PhD, doing a PhD is I feel it's not a joke. It's if you're thinking mm -hmm. it's like a job, you are coming to do PhD. I don't think so. That will lead into any successful you should and start enjoy uh, like you should, you should start to enjoy the doing the work because in phd only thing that you will see is fail go do the work you will fail then fail has to you have to make friend with the fa failure i mean okay once you can make fa uh, friend with the failure later on you will realize that actually those friends have actually triggered you to the success that's why i feel all the time Mm, hello? Yes, Nihar. Yeah. Um, I have a question for both of you. Uh, postdoc karna zoruri hai kya? Matlab, uh, can postdoc be valuable for us? Yeah, so, the, is it a question from student or... From yes, student? yes. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Okay, so I'm not like which I have I I I. 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 I
जो व्यूवर्स हैं वो प्लीज यहाँ पे अगर कमेंट करें तो ज्यादा हमारे लिए अच्छा होगा क्योंकि अच्छा होगा यस हाँ जो हमारे लसित सर हैं भरत सर हैं वो डायरेक्टली आपके कमेंट्स को यहाँ पे देख पाएंगे ठीक है लसित सर आप बताइए तो you want to it's not like a see in, in school days what happened so yeah, i don't know everybody's asana, voice is breaking uh, now assam uh, hello in assam is, is, is he from assam no 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 sir oh, okay fine so uh, so the thing is that if you are in school days let's say you are, you are in the fifth standard so you are like next thing is sixth standard right next you pass the exam then you go to seventh standard like that you yes. keep going okay But once you cross higher secondary, like class two, then you have a choice. Maybe, maybe after tenth itself, you have a choice. So yeah. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Art, like uh, humanities stream, science, commerce, or some other stuff. I want to do. Right. Then after doing class two, so I know that after PhD, if you follow up that uh, way, so the postdoc is is like postdoctoral experience. It's not a degree. so to say okay you have completed phd so it depends on what you are looking for let's say nowadays if you look around the universities and the other good institute where you if you are looking for a faculty position then they desire i mean it's like at least to have one minimum postdoc from a good institute so in that way you are, it becomes valuable okay so it's like me so because now i am working in a college so there the post doctoral experience immediate way in the job application i think it did not matter that much yes okay but the experience that you gather doing a post doc that is uncomparable okay if you're looking for the experience that's all right okay but if you're looking for a job in a university in a research institute in some other institute then it becomes really really valuable but for sake of doing a post doc i mean once you do a phd then you realize uh, whether to should I go for, i think once you are phd you are you are really mature enough to even answer yourself whether sh- sh- should i or should anyone go for phd or not yes yes matlab phd post doc karna zaruri nahi hai research ke chhetra yes yes it, it depends on what you are looking to do next uh, it will be beneficial for research sector yeah of course of that's course. why that you mean uh-huh. that you gather in your during your phd days that you can utilize see as a person there will be huge change because you can lead a project by yourself okay there will be many other students will be doing projects of phd under you okay, so that's a different experience altogether yes yes thank you sir yeah bharat ji kuch bolenge No, I think Lachit is the right person to say those points. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Uh, I, yeah, I'm getting a question actually in my personal uh-huh. chat. I, it, it's in it's in Assamese, I guess. So that's why I'll just quickly uh, switch to Assamese. Okay. So the question is. Uh, Somehow the network is like, being issues. My my network is all right. Yes. Yes. Your network is. Yeah. दिलीप जी मेरा मेरा नेटवर्क सही से आ रहा है योर नेटवर्क इज आल्सो फाइन आई थिंक सम नेटवर्क इशू विद भरत सर नेटवर्क ओके हां भरत सर बार-बार डे टू डे हां सो रिगार्डिंग दिस द कंपनी या देयर आर सम इश्यूज फ्रॉम माय एंड या सो अभी ठीक है अभी ठीक है सर Ah, Prosnodo, and Equa, he says that हां इज इज एनीथिंग दैट बिकॉज़ आई डोंट नो सडनली दिस नेटवर्क इज गेटिंग डाउन आई डोंट नो व्हाई Ha. So career. Anihar, give a question. Career, po- you are shooting me some question. No, no, sir. Your network problems. Oh, sir. Now, now, you are showing me. Ha. Ha. Okay. So yeah. So I got a question in my personal chat. So it's in Assamese. So I want to switch to that. So I will uh, ask all of you probably. Prosno, to which one? Any question? Is it a career? Do you call it? Right. Typically, I mean, keep up with the career. I thought, man, I had a bit slipped the job. I don't know. I mean, like successful career, we call it. Let's say we, you, you know, the financial stability that 
ultimately The question is to me, right? Okay. See, I think I have already. Uh, the, I think the lip name was a pucha that is about ki kese koi competitive yeah. exam. See, the first no, and foremost thing. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. 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 See the thing so is that Lachit uh, is asking about the successful, right? You know, successful career. You know, do I need to define what is a successful career? Starting point. See, starting point is the most difficult thing. To do. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Somehow I don't know. I'm getting a broken voice. Uh, yeah, it's hello. good for us. It's audible for us. You, you, your voice is clear, sir. I can hear you properly. आपको कोई जॉब मिल गया उसके बाद आप सक्सेसफुल हो गए नो दिस इज अम्प्लीटर इन सम dream okay, world okay this is not not a, this is not call a successful because according to me what i feel is that you know once you got particular job let's say you know i got now uh, as a teacher or be the any civil servant okay the the ultimate motto is that you know what you are able to provide them okay so whether you are able to justify them or not so if you are being able to justify that now if i may in a teaching profession if i am able to mo jodi eta jodi bhal dure soboke pohabo pari so whether whatever you know whether you know whatever were things that is required from my end to give to the best of the knowledge to them i think if i'm able to achieve somehow then we can say that okay it's a kind of successful but you know uh, it, the successful career i don't think there is anything you know called a successful career okay so it's very difficult to define it's it's kind of infinity okay the term is itself i feel it's infinity okay so uh, you cannot be too much of successful okay i mean uh, the thing is that because you need to do Ahomiyat. many things to become a very successful okay okay ahomiyat kabo matake koi asu je successful buli kole hetu no hoy je okol kon bete job pale ba kon bete ki bata pale sakori pale no that is not actually ultimately to me he job to poor pisot he sakori to to me kiman khini justify koribo parisa ba kiman khini dibole parisa okay aru kiman khini jodi justified hoy tetia he i think okay you are little bit success okay but you know moi bhabu successful career buli kobole because i am very new now so i cannot tell that i am a very successful okay but in the long run bahut bhabishyat loike hoy to if i am able to do some good works then then i can say that okay i'll be i am a successful mm-hmm. person okay now coming back to lachi's next question he was asking something areta ki kenake start koribo lage right see so, jigno competitive exam karne i think syllabus to prepare to go for amba preparation eto mane Yes, my head is going to go. Ziku ne ta, ziku ne competitive exams. To me, ita to me ita banking or a loilo. To me ita railway exam a loilo. To me ita to me ita medical exam or karne loilo. 
uh, any exam or any, everybody has, you know, they have all the exams, they give you, so be a defined syllabus there. Okay. So that's defined syllabus to money who be at a important hoy, the redefined syllabus to money, the prior questions are hippo. But okay, hey, defined syllabus to to me, Kiman thoroughly pohisa. That is very important. Hoy. And sometimes exam to exams very correct. Uh, am, am I audible? Huna yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, sir. We can hear you. But your screen ka screen black. Ho gaya abhi. Uh, I think, uh, meanwhile, uh, Dilip, uh, before the Bharat. Some, some network issues are there. Yeah, some of the viewers are asking. Um, they have some. They are telling that either you can speak in English or Hindi because they are from uh, Rajasthan, Delhi, so they can't understand the Assamese. So uh, I think that Assamese also one can understand the Hindi or English language. So they have one question that uh, uh, they have one question actually. One person joined uh, in 2017 one of the institute in the India. And he joined PhD. So first year he expanded in his coursework only. In second year, uh, actually he he can't uh, able to decide his topic. Okay, he work on some topic, but uh, somehow he dropped that one. Then uh, two years gone. Then after the two years, when he uh, when he tried to start the work, then the pandemic situation situation came, and now four years are gone, and uh, they he don't have any such work. Okay, he, he don't have any experimental work. Now the question is that uh, how he will handle the situation? Because he is in the... He is in tense. Yeah, yeah. yeah I uh, don't understand the problem. It's, it's pretty unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's really unfortunate that uh, the question gentlemen that are asking that he has to go through this kind of uh, problem. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's very unfortunate. But the yeah. uh, thing is that these are the real hardship of life. Right? You cannot uh, uh, get away. So somehow you need to tackle the situation. Now, the question is, he started to do some problem that did not work out. Then later on, he started to do something. I know it's a genuine thing. It's a, So one of the best thing that you can do is do your best okay so do your best i know it's a problem now you need to look at the problem probably who knows this problem that is coming to you like tendulkar said right you throw a stone at me i'll turn it to milestone probably that problem see we are we as a human being if we did not have the problem see now and recently one quote that i have uh, seen in internet is that see now we are able to understand the value of the new normal. The normal yes, life yes. that we had, every yes, day, sir. Being like you go to college or attend classes, if you are a student or if you are a hostel, if you are, if, 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 if you are a PhD, you go to the department, you do your work, come back, or if you are a job, you are doing a job, then you go to your office, come back, do all these things. Now we are not able to do that. See, when everything was normal, we are not able to understand the value of that normal thing. So now, we are craving for that new normal, right? The craving for the normal life, please give us a normal life. Because we are stuck in home, we are not able to do anything. So for him, see, now we are understanding the value of that normal thing, okay? Maybe the pandemic, now see, we are creating this online platform to access so many people from so, so many, like, so many places, right? We are connecting in a single platform. See, even though I know pandemic has hit us really badly, but this is a blessing in these guys. Now people are thinking in a different way. So probably that the problem is, I know it's a very unfortunate thing. Who knows that problem, that problem itself, if you can try, if you can try to solve that problem. See, it's a more of, now it's a mental thing because you are not able to go to the lab, not able to work with the problem. See, the, pro the real problem hasn't started actually. Now you, you are facing, it's a mental anxiety that you are having because you are not able to go to the lab and work. As far as my understanding goes, he's facing the anxiety. Mirakya Hoga. What I will have? Four years gone. Scholarship or the fellowship will stop after one year. See, these are the things I know it's a pretty sorry thing. I mean, you can contact your guide. Okay, you can talk to him or her, whoever is your guide. Really, see, this is the problem. You can always be connected with your friends. Um, um, 
keep i have this problem but make sure you prepare yourself see i always get inspired from the cricket that i play because you see if you anyone see tendulkar is one person every world cup that he played that probably the last two or three world cup everybody said probably this is his last world cup 2003 they said this is probably his last world cup 2007 last world cup 2011 also they said this is last world cup but every time he made himself you know tendulkar you know all of you right similarly virat kohli also in england he failed in the 2014 series again but following that he went to australia he scored four centuries see i get inspired by that so sometimes this problem see can make you a much better person if you keep on working with the problem so uh, the person who was asking uh, i i would like to say is that please maintain a positive mindset uh, don't think that you know uh, like mera life mein kya hoga kuch nahi hoga i am in this kind of situation probably try to think maybe this problem has come to teach me a good lesson for the life lesson which will make me a much better person in life so i think after that see once you can you know overcome this problem you will be probably speaking in one of the motivational talks that's what i feel acha वैसे भी एक मेरा एक क्वेश्चन है जैसे अह मान लीजिए कि आपने किसी इंस्टीट्यूट में पीएचडी में एडमिशन लिया ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल कोई भी एक पर्सन पीएचडी में एडमिशन लिया किसी इंस्टीट्यूट के अंदर और उसको अपने मन पसंद का जो गाइड है मन पसंद का जो फील्ड है वो नहीं मिल पाया क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली बात है कि हर एक इंस्टीट्यूट में हर एक डिपार्टमेंट में जब आप किसी विषय के अंदर जाते हो तो वहां पे कुछ बिग शॉट होते हैं मतलब बिग शॉट इन द सेंस जिनको लोग लेना चाहते हैं जो चाहते हैं कि मैं मैं इस गाइड को लूं मैं इस गाइड को लूं थोड़ी भीड़ होती है उनके पीछे अब वो सबको तो नहीं ले सकता वो एक या दो को लेगा मतलब हर एक बैच में तीन या चार लोग ऐसे जरूर होंगे जिनको हमने मनपसंद का गाइड नहीं मिल पाता है जनरेट होने लग जाते हैं तो क्योंकि देखो उसके पीछे मेरा पर्सनल ओपिनियन ये है कि ये नहीं है कि उस फैकल्टी को कुछ आता नहीं है वो अगर वहां पे ऐसे फैकल्टी रिक्रूट हुआ है इट मींस उनको काफी कुछ आता है ठीक है लेकिन क्योंकि आप बच्चे की यहाँ बड़ास लगा लीजिए या उसका गुस्सा लगा लीजिए कुछ भी उसके माइंड में थॉट जनरेट होते रहते हैं तो अगर उसको मनपसंद का अपना टॉपिक नहीं मिला है मनपसंद का अपना गाइड नहीं मिला है तो उस टाइम वो अपनी पी को कैसे प्रोसीड करे वो कैसे चीजों को एक्सेप्ट करे कि ठीक है अब जो मिल गया है उसी से आगे अच्छे से करना है उस टाइम उसको अपने माइंडसेट किस तरह से करना चाहिए और पीएचडी में आगे कैसे प्रोसीड करना चाहिए सी आई थिंक एनी फ्रैंक एंड गुड गाइड विल से सी आई रिमेंबर वन प्रोफेसर इन आईएससी फिजिक्स इट्स इट्स ही विल से सी व्हेनेवर एनीवन जॉइंस इन इट्स लाइक सो वी विल हैव लॉट ऑफ फाइट ड्यूरिंग इट्स अ नॉर्मल थिंग टू हैव अ फाइट विद योर गाइड I think that's a pretty normal stuff. So, see, it depends again. Uh, if as a person and if you are skillful and what you need to do, if you keep doing that, I think there will be less question on you than someone else. So, that's why I say if you try to think more of the solution, then solution will come out. If you keep on thinking about the problem, only you will see a lot of problems. So instead of focusing too much on probably my guy, maybe she or he doesn't know much. It, see, it's not that's not a good thing to I think do. Uh, rather than that, what you need to do if you focus on that, I think that will be a very good thing to do. Yeah. Okay. So, मेरे पास तो अभी एक्स्ट्रा कोई क्वेश्चंस आ नहीं रहे हैं ना लेकिन सर प्राइवेट ट्यूशन इज इज नेसेसरी 
we have we have i think discussed this point but i think it's a, we have joined late but still is ja main main apne viewers ko ek cheez batana chahunga ki ye jo abhi jo discussion jo chal raha hai ये डिस्कशन एजुकेशन एंड मोटिवेशन यूट्यूब चैनल पे इसके बाद अपलोड कर दिया जाएगा तो आप वहां से पूरा जो डिस्कशन है वो फिर से एक बार सुन सकते हैं ठीक है आलसित भी कंटिन्यू हां तो प्रोबेबली दिस नीड टू हैव मिक्स अप आंसर्स ऑफ असमीज एंड इंग्लिश और भारत इज कोचिंग एंड प्राइवेट ट्यूशन नेसेसरी फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम Hello, I missed something. Some of the points. I don't know uh, what uh, there are some network issues. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. So one question. Hello, hello. Is, one question has been asked. Bharat, are you able to hear? Yeah, I, I broken voice. I can hear you. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, so the question is. Uh, what is the question is? A, is coaching or private tuition necessary for any competitive exam? I think we have discussed this point, but we can again highlight few points. Let me just comment there, then Bharat can see. Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. but so Lachit is asking me right. something. Yeah, can you just repeat the question once again? Yeah, you can see in the comment section itself. Is coaching or private tuition necessary? Uh, I for mean, for what kind of exams? Okay, is coaching for, for any private? competitive? No, see, it again depends. Okay, see, for me now, देखो अगर if there are two persons you know some a person may be very highly intellect okay and other person may not be in that uh, you know it may not be in that range okay so uh, now the preparations for the guy who is intellect and the one who is uh, not up to that level is going to be different okay for some cases you know let's say you know for the intellect guy if he can catch if he has a very good catching power then he doesn't require all of those things okay but if for the other guy you know he might be needing some kind of guidance okay so it becomes very necessary you have to evaluate yourself that okay whether you uh, you know whether you know whether you really need a coaching or not okay so you can test them that whether you need or not okay so there are many you know once you read once you are into the preparations you know after some time after some time of your preparations uh, you know you 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 know you can analyze yourself that okay where am i standing okay so if you feel like okay without uh, coaching and all if i am able to uh, you know complete this much of these things uh, you know whatever the syllabus or whatever he is preparing that becomes very easy for them or otherwise sometimes what happens somebody might think I think Bhatcher has left. Yeah, connection issue is there. This network issue is so uh, devastating. Give the answer of this question. Now we can uh, wait for a minute. And then... Yes, we can. We can wait. Sometime. So did I did I answer? Did I answer the question? No yeah. sir, you are. Uh, Because last part is not uh, clear. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You know, uh, you have to evaluate yourself. I'm not saying that you know coaching is compulsory because. I haven't done such kind of coaching kind of things yeah, so, uh, so for I, writing the competitive exam. I, I probably I want to bring everybody's uh, attention to there. There is a common. It's almost like it has become a tradition to after plus two or like to go for a coaching. Let's say engineering or for medical coaching. See the mindset of the students that you have. Let's say after plus two, let's take one year drop, go for engineering or whatever. Uh, competitive exam or if not that after bsc let's prepare for iit jam jest gate also nowadays you can write so i think it's a common tradition kind of thing it has become so what is your thought on that mm hum brother hello 
अच्छा डेरेक आल्सो यू वांट टू से नो नो एक्चुअली भरत सर कैन आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू माय ओपिनियन मैं यही कहना चाहूंगा कि अगर हेलो हेलो यस यस हां भरत सर बोल कैन यू जस्ट can you can you repeat the questions let's see it once again i actually i was you <coughs> know not able to hear you completely so i was saying see now it is it has become like a tradition it's like a mindset am i audible to you am i audible no 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 i have to little bit change my position so <laughs> this network okay. is making let's some check. issues ha huh. Okay, just uh, you can take another questions. I'll come back to you. I'll I'll come yes, back to sir. you. You sir, can take another questions. Somehow the network can, is. Uh, uh, okay, sir. Uh, yes. Can yes, you? Yes. Um, uh, can I repeat? Can you repeat the question? Ah, so is a man that you have to tell a tradition. बन गया है कि कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट में कोचिंग लेने के बाद ही मतलब तुमको ये आईआईपी जैम हो या कुछ मतलब क्रैक हो सकता है कि लोगों का आज मानना है कि यू यू डू द कोचिंग मे नॉट डेज लाइफ लेकिन इसे मानना है कि योर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ क्रैकिंग द एग्जाम इंक्रीजेस इफ यू गो टू समोचिंग इसमें मैं आपसे ये कहना चाहूंगा कि देखिए आ, आ, अगर जैसे कुछ बच्चों का माइंडसेट होता है कि जब वो बीएससी में एडमिशन लेते हैं ठीक है तो उनके दिमाग में डाल दिया जाता है कि आप अभी अभी नए नए कॉलेज में आए हो आप स्कूल लाइफ से निकल के आए हो ठीक है वो कॉलेज लाइफ को एंजॉय करना चाहते हैं वो वो ये सोचते हैं कि हम तीन साल एंजॉय करते हैं उसके बाद चौथे साल कोचिंग करेंगे एक साल में आराम से अच्छी रैंक लेके आएंगे और किसी आई आई में एडमिशन ले लेंगे या फिर आराम से जैम में एक अच्छी रैंक या जस्ट में एक अच्छी रैंक लेके आएंगे आईएससी में हम इंटीग्रेटेड पीएचडी ले लेंगे या आईजर्स में हम अच्छी इंटीग्रेटेड पीएचडी ले लेंगे ये वो सोचते हैं कि हम तीनों साल मेहनत करें इससे अच्छा है कि हम एक छह महीने की कोचिंग करें और अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट में एडमिशन ले लें लेकिन मैं उनसे ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि आप जो अपना एक साल वेस्ट करने जा रहे हो ठीक है उस एक साल में कितने ही लोग हैं जो आपसे आगे निकलने वाले हैं तो आपको ट्राई ये करना है कि जब आप जिस दिन आप ग्रेजुएशन में एडमिशन ले रहे हो ठीक है उस दिन से ही आपको अपना जो भी सब्जेक्ट है वो फिजिक्स है केमिस्ट्री है मैथ्स है या और भी कोई सब्जेक्ट है आपको उसको कॉन्सेप्चुअली पढ़ना है क्योंकि अगर आपका माइंडसेट ये रहने वाला है कि ठीक है मैं तीन साल यहाँ कॉलेज लाइफ एंजॉय करूंगा और उसके बाद तीन साल के बाद छह महीने कोचिंग लेके मैं एग्जाम निकाल के आई एस में एडमिशन ले लूंगा अब वहां पे होने वाला क्या है कि आपको कोचिंग में क्वेश्चन निकालना तो सिखा दिया जाएगा लेकिन आप कौन से नहीं सिखाए जाएंगे तो आप अगर कोचिंग के लिए हुए मार्क्स है जब आप एडमिशन लोगे किसी भी अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट के अंदर तो आप अपनी डिग्री वहां अच्छे से नहीं कर सकते हो ठीक है जो आप आउटपुट वहां लेना चाहते हो डिग्री से निकालना चाहते हो वो आपको नहीं मिल पाएगा ठीक है क्योंकि आपको वो नॉलेज नहीं है सब्जेक्ट की जो एक्चुअल उस बच्चे को लेगी कि अगर आप स्टार्टिंग से ही पूरे कॉन्सेप्ट पर ध्यान देते हुए आए हो तो मेरा अपने सभी व्यूवर से सजेशन है कि अगर आप ग्रेजुएशन कर रहे हैं आपने ग्रेजुएशन में एडमिशन लिया हुआ है मास्टर्स कर रहे हैं मास्टर्स में एडमिशन लिया हुआ है तो आप स्टार्टिंग से ही जो आपके कॉन्सेप्ट हैं उन पर ध्यान दें ठीक है अगर आपके कॉन्सेप्ट सारे क्लियर लेंगे तो कोई भी ऐसा कॉम्पिटिशन एग्जाम नहीं है जो आप क्रैक नहीं कर सकते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल देखिए खुद का कभी बोलना नहीं चाहिए लेकिन मैं बता देता हूँ कि मैंने जो अपना मास्टर्स किया था उसके साथ ही मैंने अपना नेट निकाला था उसके साथ ही मैंने अपना जेस्ट निकाला उसके साथ ही मैंने अपना गेट निकाला था और एक बार मैं कंटिन्यू में यहाँ पे अपना आई सी में पी ज्वाइन किया था ठीक है मेरा कोई गैप कुछ नहीं है ठीक है आपको एक और एग्जाम्पल बताता हूँ कुछ लोग सोचते हैं कि उन्होंने बी के बाद जैम दिया जैम में किसी आई में नहीं हुआ अब उन्होंने सीधा एक साल का ड्रॉप मार दिया क्योंकि वो लोग सोचते हैं कि मेरा आईएससी नहीं हो रहा है मेरा आईआईटी में नहीं हो रहा है मैं आप नहीं करूंगा मैं तो बड़े इंस्टीट्यूट में एमएससी करूंगा उनका ऐसा मानना होता है कि मैं अगर नॉर्मल यूनिवर्सिटी से एमएससी करूं या मैं किसी सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी या एनआईटी से एमएससी करूं तो शायद उसकी वैल्यू नहीं होगी शायद मैं कभी लाइफ में कुछ बन नहीं पाऊंगा 
लेकिन पचासों ऐसे मेरे चैनल एग्जांपल्स पड़े हुए हैं यूट्यूब चैनल पे जहां आप देख सकते हो कि लोग प्राइवेट कॉलेज से पढ़ के भी आईसी में एडमिशन ले पाते हैं एमएससी में आईसी में पीएचडी में एडमिशन ले पाते हैं और एक सबसे बड़ा एग्जांपल जो मैं देना चाहता हूं वो है जो आई में एक प्रोफेसर है राजेंद्र सिंह ढक्का ठीक है उनका जो मास्टर है वो उन्होंने मास्टर्स किया है राजस्थान यूनिवर्सिटी से राजस्थान यूनिवर्सिटी से मास्टर्स करने के बाद उन्होंने अगर आपने नाम सुना हो आर्ट इंदौर ने पीएचडी की और आज वो आईआईटी दिल्ली के अंदर एक फैकल्टी है असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर है या एसोसिएट है मुझे एग्जैक्टली याद नहीं है वो फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंट के अंदर फैकल्टी है तो अगर एक पर्सन जो राजस्थान से बिलोंग करते हैं वो अगर वो राजस्थान यूनिवर्सिटी जो की इतनी जानी मानी यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं है बहुत बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं है अगर हम बात करें सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी आई के मुकाबले तो अगर वो वहां से पढ़कर भी आईटी दिल्ली के अंदर फैकल्टी लग सकते हैं तो आप भी लग सकते हो आप अपना माइंडसेट थोड़ा चेंज करना होगा कि जो मैं हूँ किसी आईआईटी से ही अच्छी जगह पे जा सकता हूँ या किसी एनआईटी से ही अच्छी जगह पे जा सकता हूँ तो मैं ये कहना चाहूंगा अपने लोगों से जरूरी नहीं है कि आप मतलब जरूरी नहीं है कि आप कोचिंग करना जरूरी है आप कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर है तो आप किसी भी लेवल तक जा सकते हो अपनी लाइफ में Yeah, I think that's it. There is a comment from Kranti Nagar too. I, can you just yeah. see the comment? Yeah, it's yes. a. <laughs> it's a very good to see uh, Bharat after a long time. Is the banter we used to have on the ground here at IIC? We we see we stay safe, bro. Konda, Reddy, Mapre. Thank you so much for remembering me, and I hope you are also safe. And uh, I think uh, that's it. You want to say something on this? <laughs> yeah. So very nice to have comment uh, from Kranti. it's a, it's really i mean these comments are really encouraging me to speak more about cricket than the academic life now <laughs> yes because yes the, the camaraderie yes. that we had during those time because these are the things which kept me going during the psc life because kranti was one of those player who were very yes. very sincere about competitive. cricket and competitive and very yes. competitive i mean extremely yes. com- competitive so very thank you for these comments Yeah, we hope to see him sometime when we'll go back, go back to Bangalore. What do you say? Yeah, one see. Yes. Right. We can have some matches. Yeah. So another uh, question. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything? Because I have some other questions uh, from uh, another. So it's again in Assamese. So that's why, but I have to. Uh, basically. Now this is the time, right? We are switching from the offline mode to online mode. Okay, what all changes that one has to go through, especially for the kids now? See, we are, we most of the discussion was our focusing on the PhD or during like after M post MSc, but uh, let's come back to a little bit of in school students. Okay, now it's a time where most of the things are happening online. Now, what all uh, ch- challenges they face? Lot many. See, the one challenge is that if you expose too much. to the devices the electronic devices that itself can harm them at the same time they you cannot avoid also cannot avoid those things because entire class and the education goes through that so what is your comments on that what are your comments yeah see i think uh, i know uh, this is a pandemic situation and they all there is no other options apart from being doing online classes and uh, for kid i mean i think maybe uh, in the very uh, primary stages probably uh, the questions who is whoever is asking uh, yeah, yeah. School, yes school i think students. see uh, school school going students yeah it becomes very important because uh, if you are not allowing them to take those classes also of course it's it's there in the back foot okay they have to do those online classes but i think at this time the parents should become you know apart from the online classes they have to do that online classes that is important but apart from that i think the parents should be also a little bit of aware now because uh, sometimes because they are also staying home now and i think they can they can be more uh, i think they should uh, you know they should be more around those kids that you know they should be uh, take care of their kids that whether they are studying properly or not whether there is a more stress or not i think that's that's a very important point that you know the parents should focus on that 
ठीक है ऐसे ऑनलाइन क्लासेस चल रहा है वो ठीक है बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू नो क्योंकि सबका पेरेंट्स तो अभी घर पे ही है बिकॉज इट्स अ लॉकडाउन काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो यू नो दे कैन टेक केयर ऑफ यू नो वेदर देर इज अ स्ट्रेस और नॉट ओके दे कैन ओनली द बेस्ट पर्सन टू चूज यू नो टू चेक आउट दैट वेदर देर 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 the son or the daughter are being uh, more stressed or not and uh, since because they if whosoever is uh, educated so they can definitely teach them okay and i think they can uh, in that way i think uh, they should take care of the kid kids you know in this pandemic situations so much of stress we need dena chahiye mere hisab se so let's say you want to at some point yeah yeah so i think uh, yeah in a personal note i also try to watch them very closely uh, what kind of problems they are facing so it's like see think about a kid who is studying in fifth standard or sixth standard right they normal days they would go to school meet their friends enjoy it's a childhood and they are being deprived of now typical the childhood that we used to have that is being deprived of now so then how do you see you cannot give them a normal life now somehow we have to be with them as bharat said uh, and also probably so in personal note i was trying to play with the kids now also i have been uh, playing uh, every evening so what instead of exposing to mobile phones or any other electronic gadgets instead i used to have them doing uh, do some exercise or some play some fun games and then uh, in that way what is happening they are being refreshed their minds are being refreshed and they every evening they look forward to that so i am not mm. telling that see now go and gather in some field and again you exposed to uh, covid 19 but are not not like that in in the locality itself where you know that there are you are safe uh, then you can go around and probably that will control they will keep them refreshed and also parents will be also happy in the because they will come back they will feel little tired they will sleep well they will also study so i think yeah those because you need to change your work otherwise being in front of tv all the time that is also not good for health yes students can utilize this lockdown you know yeah uh matlab uh, extra curricular activities students can uh, do their extra curricular activities or maybe some other things yeah uh, dilip ji koi baat aur hai kya nahi agar mere paas to abhi questions nahi aa rahe hain uh, aapke paas koi questions kya hum se ha mera to abhi nahi aa raha hai but ek question tha Okay. Yeah, one more question. I think it's pretty specific uh, questions. Uh, I don't know who is asking this because I'm not able to read the names. It's in the all the static marks. So the question is: uh, See, when you go for a competitive exam, typically just gain whatever it is. So the questions are hardly being repeated, right? So then, how do you prepare? with what mindset do you prepare this so who will going to answer yes. this last question huh? no, i think dilip you have we have crack zest i have not crack zest because that's not my thing <laughs> so okay. i think uh, yeah mera i want to i'm going to answer of these questions mera personal opinion ye hai jo maine observe kiya sabhi competition exams ke liye आपका कोई भी क्वेश्चन रिपीट नहीं होता है ये एकदम सही बात है ना कि ना ही वो गेट में होने वाला है ना ही उनमें होने वाला है ना ही आपको जस्ट होने लेकिन जो आपके कॉन्सेप्ट्स हैं ठीक है वो कॉन्सेप्ट्स आपके जो है रिपीट हैं ये आप किसी भी कंपटीशन एग्जाम में ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हो ठीक है अगर जैसे जब मैं अपने एग्जाम्स की प्रिपरेशन कर रहा था अपने एस के साथ तो मेरी जो स्ट्रेटजी थी हिसाब से थी कि मैं अपने कॉन्सेप्ट पर ध्यान दिया करता था अपने एमएससी में ठीक है जो भी टीचर्स पढ़ा रहे हैं उसके साथ साथ मैंने जितने भी मेरे जैम के प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन थे गेट के थे जेस्ट के थे और नेट के थे 
ऐसा नाइट आपका साल में दो बार होता है जून में भी होता है दिसंबर में भी होता है तो अगर आप इतने सारे क्वेश्चन करते हो तो आपके पास काफी सारे कॉन्सेप्ट आपको समझ में आते हैं और आप एक चीज ऑब्जर्व करो किसी भी एग्जाम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन करते टाइम पे कि जो क्वेश्चन मतलब मान लीजिए टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन में क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है उसी सेम कॉन्सेप्ट पे डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन या तो फोर्टीन में फिफ्टीन में सिक्सटीन में पूछ ही लिया जाएगा ठीक है तीन साल के अंदर वो कॉन्सेप्ट आपका जरूर जरूर रिपीट हो ही जाएगा तो आपके क्वेश्चन रिपीट नहीं होते हैं लेकिन आपके कॉन्सेप्ट बार बार रिपीट होते रहते हैं थोड़ा बहुत मॉडिफाई करने के बाद तो अगर आपने सारे प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस को अच्छे से किया हुआ है तो आप आ, किसी भी एग्जाम को अच्छे निकाल सकते हो बाकी आप अपने कॉन्सेप्ट पे ध्यान देना होगा आप जो आपके सब्जेक्ट के कॉन्सेप्ट हैं और आप जिस भी एग्जाम में अपेयर होने वाले हो उस एग्जाम के प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन लगभग पुराने दस या पंद्रह से और जो उससे रिलेटेड जो एग्जाम है उनके प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन अगर आप कर जाते हो तो आपका जो है एग्जाम में सजेशन आराम से हो सकता है दूसरी बात आजकल मार्केट में पचासों तरह के गाइड्स अवेलेबल हैं, ठीक है बुक्स अवेलेबल हैं। अगर आप गेट के लिए ढूंढोगे तो गेट के लिए भी बुक्स अवेलेबल हैं, नेट के लिए ढूंढोगे नेट के लिए भी अवेलेबल हैं। तो मैं देखिए मैं कोई प्रचार प्रसार नहीं कर रहा हूँ लेकिन पर्सनली पर्सनली मैंने जो बुक फॉलो की थी वो सुरेखा तोमर की एक बुक आती है ठीक है वो उसमें टॉपिक वाइज इतने कॉन्सेप्ट दिए हुए हैं इतने अगर आप वो सब कर ले तो इंडिया में कोई एग्जाम नहीं है जो आप क्रैक नहीं कर सकते चाहे वो आपका बार का एग्जाम हो चाहे वो गेट हो नेट हो जेस्ट हो आप सारे अपने एग्जाम्स क्रैक कर सकते हो ठीक है तो सिर्फ आपको अपने कॉन्सेप्ट पे ध्यान देना होगा friends. सो मतलब वे वी इज टू टैकल द थिंग इज दैट वी हैव रियलाइज दैट नो क्वेश्चन आर बींग रिपीटेड बट देन वी हैव ऑब्जर्व क्वेश्चन लाइक द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन सो वी रोड गेट इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन आई गैस ओके बट दैट टाइम वी हैव क्वेश्चन पेपर्स अवेलेबल इन द नेट फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फोर ऑनवर्ड्स फाइव ऑनवर्ड्स आई डोट सो आई इज टू कलेक्ट ऑल ऑफ दैम ओके इनफैक्ट After googling a bit, I could collect some questions from the 2003 one also, because somebody had posted some questions from their memory in the internet. So after collection, what I have sort of sorted down, <coughs> sorted out the questions from a particular topics. Okay, if suppose you have let's say in physics, I would say Bose uh, Bose Einstein condensation. Let's say some phenomena. Okay. so from there what kind of questions they ask so if you compare like so 10 years or 9 years question paper you will almost know that what can they ask more than this so if you can answer those questions your concept will be very thorough so if your concepts now if you prepare your concept so well that so later on what happened so i was very uh, as very in curious to see ki so same concept how can they make questions year after year so different so it, by doing that you know your concepts are also clear and now you feel like i am ready for answering anything that can be asked from that topic so rather than thinking about the uh, the questions you can think about the concept as dilip has uh, said this that if you can make yourself strong with the concept then anything that comes you can answer i think that, that's my opinion but regarding civil service i think bharat can say uh, much more than this yes bharat yeah there are most of the times the broken voices on the head sorry hello most of the times yeah so you are asking a question okay we may uh, wait for nihar are you getting any question bharat is having some technical issue नो सर नो सर 
so let's just say if uh, we can do one thing also it's almost one and a half hour if we don't have this, then we can end the session sorry sorry what did you say I said that uh, it's almost uh, one and a half hour. If we don't have questions now, then we yeah, can okay. uh, end the session. After Bharat's speech, you can close. I think, I think Bharat will be able to answer. Yeah, I think yes. So I I am extremely sorry that the net is you know it's getting updated and because of that, yeah. So Lachit is asking that whether uh. You know your voice was a little bit broken, so I couldn't uh, so hear you properly. But see, what see, I could understand. For, uh, ah, so like for any complete exam like jam, gate, test, whichever you take, mm -hmm. questions are not being repeated. Mm -hmm. So then I said that you need to focus on concept, and then you can uh, probably whatever they ask from you. Yes, so regarding yes, the civil yes. service exams, uh, uh, mm -hmm. your thoughts on that? Yeah, regarding the civil service exams, I think questions uh, there may be some. See, for uh, I'm not talking about the UPSC exam. I'm talking about the state civil service. Whatever I gave that exams, there were some questions that that was being repeated. I mean, it's not like all the questions are being repeated, but there are some questions that is being repeated. But you cannot rely on those questions. Given that syllabus is such a huge syllabus, so it's many many. It's such a huge syllabus. So uh, of course you have to know. All the concepts, definitely the concepts, and also you, you know, in civil service, basically, you never expected, you know, just like you know, in the board, we used to read something, and the questions are definitely going to come from there. No, it's not like that. It's completely different things. Actually, basically, you have to read, and you never know that what questions are going to come. So, whatever in the given, whatever you have understood by reading all those things, you know, in the preparation time, you know, on the day of the exam, you have to. So it's not that like all of us are going to, you know, there are very few questions that, you know, uh, that might read. Uh, what I would suggest that, you know, it's better that you should very much follow, you know, all the tasks, of course, I'd say, and all the syllabus. Okay. So in civil service, basically, you don't have any questions that will be repeated. No, never. One or two questions you might get repeated. Yeah. Okay. I think I couldn't. I couldn't. Did yeah. it? Yes, yes. Uh, so, questions are now uh, complete, I guess. I think yeah, lots. Yeah, very, it's very unlikely that you are. Sorry? It's very unlikely that you know it's. Uh, sometimes, you know, in civ as a state civil service, you get some questions, but that question is also not like, you know. I think some network issue with the um, Barasar's network. Yeah. So what can we do now? Shall we wait for uh, maybe a couple of mi minutes and see if Bharat can join and we can, I think, end. It's more than one and a half hour now. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, we have to. Next. We have to complete this. Yeah, any more points? Any, any, any more questions? Yeah. Have... Sir, your voice is not clear. Hello? Uh. Yeah, then, then there's a basis. Any more questions? That... Yes, sir. You have an issue. A network. So, Dilip Ji, what are you I think uh, Rashid Bia can suggest us. If the questions are over, then we can. Uh, end the uh, I think more or less. So, what's our future plan regarding uh, this platform that we have created? So, uh, shall we talk a little more on that? How can we proceed forward with this platform, that education yes. and motivation Facebook page and the channel that we have, YouTube channel? So, what's yes. our. Uh, Actually, I thought that I may. Uh, इस बार जो हम लोग जो डिस्कशन करने करेंगे फ्यूचर में मेरे हिसाब से आई थिंक हम लोग एक महीने पहले जो हमारा बैन रहेगा या पोस्ट रहेगा या जो भी है इंफॉर्मेशन हम लोगों तक पहुंचाने की कोशिश करेंगे क्योंकि जो हमारे लाइव व्यूअर्स हैं वो बहुत ज्यादा कम है 
और ये जो सेशन जो हमने अभी रिकॉर्ड लाइव किया है उसको मैं रिकॉर्ड करके वहां डाल दूंगा तो हमारे व्यूअर्स बाद में देख सकते हैं वो उनको पता लगेगा कि लाइव सेशन इस तरह से इस चैनल पे किया जाता है और आप उसको अटेंड करके अपने क्वेश्चंस पूछ सकते हैं हां हां ओके ओके वी हैव टू सर्कुलेट द एडवर्टाइजमेंट यू नो मतलब स्टूडेंट्स आर वेरी क्यूरियस नाउ डेज so they are wondering such webinars workshop etc so so shall we uh, we can stop probably yes i think we can stop bharachar bharachar is coming now so if everybody if we then can can i लेफ्ट। आई थिंक वी कैन स्टॉप।